afterwards was probably the most fun I've ever had in a car. Um, we did hot laps Ooh. in a GTLM car. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, so this this was a um, they had two BMW Z4 GTLM cars. Oh yes. So these cars, one of them set pole position in qualifying earlier that day. Jam with the with with the driver. Whoa. He did not care about like he. Dude, he was just there to do the thing. He was he, he was probably he, taking he was, advantage of more practice. He was, yeah. He was he was there for a job. That was his job, and his job was to kill that clock. Like it was, <laughs> this was full race pace in a GTLM car. So I'm very, very jealous. Yeah. So uh, for those of you who don't know, a GTLM car is a uh, car that sort of looks like its uh, stock counterpart, but it's fully decked out for um, the 24 Hours of Le Mans. And um, this is a full race car, full uh, tube frame type thing. Uh, had you know, full roll cage. And uh, a race engine that makes... It didn't actually make that much power. I think it was like 550 horsepower or something. It's quite a bit in a car that doesn't weigh anything. Though. Right, right. So, But, I mean, <clears throat> there are cars... Because 550 horsepower, it's it's not that much if you consider, you know, on the internet, you know, everybody has 1,000 horsepower, right? Uh, my, my daily driver has more horsepower than this. Um, Your but, daily driver would not be able to keep up with this car in the corners. Um, I mean, it would probably beat it in top speed. Oh yeah, no, but I'm yeah, saying in the corners. Yeah, no, 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 no. Because so, the arrow on these cars is right, insane. right. So, so it's not about the speed. So no. we we took off, and I've been in cars that are faster. So it's like it's cool. It's incredibly loud, really loud. Yes. I was asking like, hey, do we need like hearing protection? Because this thing is like uh, <laughs> the, the driver's like, huh, what? <laughs> uh, so, um, I yeah, I asked him like, do we need like hearing protection? Do we have do we need earplugs? Because I don't know if you've ever been to a racetrack, like a, a legit racetrack. Yes. These cars will hurt your hearing. Yes, if they go by, like a NASCAR event yes. or a, th- this event. Let me just tell you, my home state's North Carolina's birthplace NASCAR. I've been to NASCAR races too. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know that right now. <laughs> <laughs> so these cars, like you, you hear them on TV, mm-hmm. and it That's, sounds cool. It sounds cool when you get there. You it, feel them. You, it, you it, feel it, them. It, it like it stings your soul. Yes. So uh, in, in the that? best way possible. So I asked, uh, do we do we need earplugs? They were like. Uh, not 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 for one lap. Uh, you, you're gonna want to hear this. That's what they said. You're gonna want to hear this. I'm like, okay, I'm down. Let's do it. Yes. Uh, Props so, to Michelin for that. Yeah. Uh, no. They they are they're like real car people. Awesome. They are they they're not like well you know if you're if you're a little squeamish then maybe we'll get like no like you're gonna want to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they did say like if you're about to throw up then do this because you can you, you know you can get queasy if you're like you know motion sickness but. Uh, I, I don't know how much that would have done because this guy was not paying attention to me. I could have been like dead Fill on this car. Just filling up the floor pan. <laughs> and he's just over there. Just <laughs> No, but, but it, it was more for the race team. They were like, don't throw up in the car because we're going to have to like, yeah, yeah. it's going to be hard to get in all those nooks and crannies. It's going to smell like, like hell. Um, so I get in this car, climb into the race harness. They put on this five point safety harness. Nice. On you, all right. Um, and... I get in there, and the driver, he's, like, nestled like a cocoon. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know he was in there. I thought I thought he stepped out or something. And I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> you, you am a person. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> you are part of this car. Yeah, so I'm like, you know, I, I, I gave him a handshake and, and whatever. And he's, like, in, like, it's just oh, yeah. covered by car. Yes, yes. And he's like this, like, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. <laughs> and uh, we, we start going. Then I realized that um, maybe my harnesses weren't, as tight as they could be. Ah, uh, you were being jostled and tossed. Uh, yes, mm. yes. Um, so we start going, and the point where they um, they put you in the car is right before the long straight. Okay. The, the long straight where they start the race. Yes. So before then, there's like a uh, there's like a big uh, arc on some very uneven pavement. So yes, turn seventeen. Yeah. So you hear this car, and it's going over these bumps, and because there's uh, there's so many bumps, you hear the um, I guess the undulation of the of the throttle is like uh, 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 uh. yeah like, like that right so um we get onto the straight and I have the the video in my uh, in in one of my videos and uh, I just put the raw video out and this car is the most bumpy experience ever right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's like an uppercut to the spine it, it, it is so uh we're going he's going through the gears just going through going to red line then we get to the first turn we're going I, I would say around like a hundred. 40, 150, right? Mm-hmm. No breaks. Uh, okay. So we, we get to the first turn. And what's weird about 
um, race car drivers is that they have that thing in their brain or they don't have that thing in their brain that says you are going to die. Yeah, no safety mechanism whatsoever. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's like... That is replaced with kill all apexes. Oh, right, right. <laughs> uh, for, for me, like in, in my head, you ever have that thing where like if somebody's driving your car or you're in, in somebody else's car and uh, somebody stops short and you're like... Um, uh, 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 break, 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 you know? And you start doing the invisible break thing with your foot. Exactly. Yeah. Try doing that in a car that, in a race car that's doing 150 miles an hour and you see a turn coming up and it's like, if something happens, like we're going straight into a wall. Okay. So here's the thing. I get, I get that mentality. I feel like I would be just fizzing with joy. Oh no, no. It, it, okay. I, I was, I was fizzing out. I, I was absolutely, I was fizzing to my heart's content. And um, what happens when he presses the brakes? So, so race car drivers, they don't, there's no uh, downtime between the let off of the throttle and then the brake press. Right. It's bop, bop, bop. Yeah. Just on it, off. It's, it's bam. If the brakes are on, they're on. I felt like when, when the brakes go on in a high speed maneuver, it feels like you're in a car accident. It feel it literally feels like you hit like uh, um, Jeremy Clarkson said this about either the Capara T1 or, uh, or the Zonda R. He was like, you couldn't stop faster if you hit a tree. It, it is, it is, it literally feels like that. Uh, so my head went between my knees, um, because it's, well, no, no Hans device here, right? <laughs> no, it, it's, it's so violent. The way that thing breaks, uh, I was bracing myself on the, uh, on the floorboard and I'm like, literally like pushing as hard as I can. I'm like, I know this is going to be hard. I know this is going to be a hard break. My body wasn't like, you know, you know, when, um, you're, you're bracing and sometimes you can kind of hold it. Like if you're in a roller coaster and you're like, you brace yourself, like, it's not so bad. You're not getting thrown around or whatever. But at some point the laws of physics comes in and it's like, no, we're, this is more than what you can handle. <laughs> then your, your feeble <laughs> muscles can, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, no, no, you, you are a rag doll. Like this is, you are not ready for this. So we're going into this turn. He hits the brakes turns in and this is a long turn it's, it's a long turn going into uh into basically a chicane and then it goes uh goes around back mm -hmm. so a long turn and then when it gets in the turn the g-force they pull i want to say like two g's or something like 1.5 to two g's in some of these turns so your body my body slammed against the door like it was just like <laughs> i'm going this way now <laughs> yay centrifugal force yeah so and all all the while i'm trying to hold up my camera and I oh, can't, no. and I can't because I'm like, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm trying to be smooth. Like I'm holding it with both hands and I'm, and I'm doing this. And then we hit the brakes and I'm like, Oh, you know, <laughs> then we, <laughs> we hit a turn and I'm like, jeez. Oh, so, um, that's why my, my video is really, really shaky. Uh, I actually like it that it's shaky because it, it gives, if I just put a GoPro on there, it wouldn't have showed you how violent that was. Right. Yeah. So uh, we go around every turn, and what's interesting is that at the at the back end, there's like this straight, uh, and you know he's going through all the gears, going super fast. Um, but it was sort of a relief, like when he's when he's you know flooring it, because like your body's like I can take a rest from this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God! <laughs> it's like you know you you kind of collect your thoughts, and uh, afterwards, I mean I have no idea how fast this lap was. It, it was it was a pretty pretty decently quick lap. But when people say that, oh, my car is a thousand horsepower, like this Lamborghini or whatever, right? My car has a thousand horsepower and um, it has all these nice brakes. It does not brake like that. It does not turn like that. Anything that turns like it's it's such a big delta between anything uh, performance oriented mm. versus an actual like GTLM car. It's, it's just insanity. So, well, and also, don't forget, it's also the driver. Oh, of course. It's that, the driver, yeah, too. Yeah. Like. Well, but well, what's <laughs> weird about that car is, like, it's since it has so much aero, and um, you need to be going a million miles an hour yeah. for it to work. Yeah, it's counterintuitive. Yeah, so, like, you can't go slow because you will crash, but yeah. if you go fast, you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so after that hot I, lap... I wish my focus worked like that. <laughs> 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 said Jeremy Clarkson. I'm sorry, officer. I had to be going uh, 200 <laughs> miles an hour because otherwise I would have crashed. Uh, yeah. So um, I after, after this lap, I was just like the adrenaline is pumped. I can't. 
I can't imagine what it's like to be one of these drivers doing this for four hours or five hours at a time mm. and having 30 other cars on the track and then just doing this lap after lap after lap. It's just, it's punishing on your body. Um, but I, like if you do this, if, you, if you're an adrenaline junkie, eventually your body gets tired. And right. Oh, like, absolutely. Yeah. But these guys do it at night. They, they, they like these in cars. The rain. Have, these cars have breakdowns. Sometimes you can't see anything. Like the, the visibility is not great in these cars. And the, the track's not illuminated. Yeah, the track's not illuminated. And it, it's it. I I don't know what's what's going on. And uh, I said this in my video. I'm like, I have race car drivers. You have my respect, but you are nuts. Like oh, you are. Absolutely. You are absolutely nuts. So I get out of this car and I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it together. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm like, you know, I try to be like, it was all right. You know, it's all right. But uh, me trying to keep it together and then th uh, mix that with the fact that, like, I'm visibly shaking. <laughs> like, I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> it's like, like doing this. Like, You're like, hey, thanks for the, <laughs> thanks for the laugh, man. <laughs> that, was, that was okay, I guess. Yeah, it was, it was, it was okay. <laughs> um, but right, right after that, we did laps in kind of more pedestrian cars. So we had a Ferrari 458 Italian. That Super was on, pedestrian, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was on, well, I mean, it's a car that you can get from the dealer, right? <laughs> so I had Michelin Sport Cup 2s on it. And this thing was, it felt like a Toyota Camry next to the, like, it was fun. Mm -hmm. It was fast. Mm -hmm. The guy was like, he was, he was drifting and doing all this stuff. Really cool. I, I had like a smile on my face. It was completely different. It's like, <laughs> it, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, one is a heart attack grill and the other one is Weenie Hut Juniors, you know? <laughs> so it, it's like, this is, this is all right, but this is, this is the one that will, if you do this for more than four hours, call a doctor, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd rather call the Guinness Book of World Records. But <laughs> exactly. So um, it's, it, it, was just the mo it was the most exciting event, it, it, the most exciting automotive experience I've ever had in my life. And That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I, I was at work the whole time. It was really cool. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I did some stuff. I took some calls, some, some emails. Yeah, I did some emails and I did some other things and, and that was pretty cool. Uh, and then I used a more pedestrian uh, computer at my house where I also tried. It felt like a kind of like a Windows PC at home. <laughs> the computer at work but you, know, you have like the mm -hmm. you have like the the you know heart attack rolling you have like the weenie hut junior like that computer at work like i just like multiple core processors <laughs> all really cool stuff 